she's nodding her head. <laughs> um, yeah, so, and Miss Pippin's sitting up the end, so just, there's Miss Pippin. So no doubt she will come and put in her two cents worth. There she is. <laughs> Hello, baby. Okay, so this is the um, the layout of the flip book, and as I said, I've prepared a lot of it earlier. This is one I've prepared earlier. Um, so it opens up like this. And lots of little flippy bits because you all know how much I love flippy bits. So there you go. There's lots of little secrets and treasures. And so once I'm finished with it, it's going to have all sorts of embellishments on it. Um, I've just used all of these are Project Life cards with the exception of this one. And they're all joined together with washi tape. Um, now as I've said in another video everything that I'm using has been gifted to me so all of these project life cards the washi tape was all gifted to me by pen pal sisters and some friends so um, I'll just flip it over so that you can see the other side so what we'll start with as you can see it's all got a bit of a greeny pink salmon um, color combination to it with the exception of the front but I really liked the front of it so in order to tie in the colors I'm going to put one of these on and these were a friend uh, so these were sent to me by a friend by Brandy um, and I got those in happy mail this week so thank you so much for that Brandy because I just love kitty stickers and so I'm going to put that on there like that and then that just ties in the pink and the green and I may bling up some more of that later, but we'll just start with that. Um, now, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add some pockets. So, we've got one here. Now, these pockets, these are actually ready-made. They came in a packet of, I don't know, about half a dozen or eight of them. They're all ready-made, and they've already got their adhesive strips on them. But if they're not to your liking and you want to actually tie in your colors a bit better or use matching cards and that you can easily enough make your own so they just fold in like that and I actually rounded off the corner because I want it to fit in here precisely and it was a little bit wide so I trimmed off here and so I'm going to stick that on now so you just peel off this double sided tape is fantastic it is the best invention because things like this that are fiddly um, it often gets very messy if you're using liquid glue like these and the liquid glue is great for putting on um, say chipboard um, die cuts or something like that but for something fiddly like this you can end up with glue everywhere and your pocket won't open and we don't want that so this double-sided tape is brilliant but as I said it already came on these pockets so I'm just lining that up and there you go you've got a pocket already so it's all nice and secure and you can slip something in there I haven't decided what I'm putting in there just yet we'll get to that in a minute now I'm going to put on another pocket in here and where is that pocket there it is so again this one is pre-made and so I'm going to sit that on there and I rounded off the corners on this one as well because I want it to sit flush I didn't like the idea of having pointed corners sticking out on the rounded corners of the project life cards so I'll stick that in so when you've got um, pockets that fold like this and then you've got a bottom piece that comes over it's always a good idea just to do those ones first and that way you're all secure before you take this bottom one off and there's another pocket ready to attach so you're limited only by your imagination as to what you want to put on here of course you need to keep in mind that if you're going to post it you don't want it to get too bulky because otherwise it's going to have to go as a parcel and that gets really expensive so what I'm putting in here are some post-it notes with a cat on it and it says meow or never which is so cute and cat can write on those now I've just stuck those on the back of a project life card that I cut down to the size of the post-it notes and again I rounded the corners 
and I just slip that in there and it fits perfectly hello baby you come to see what we're doing now just back here for a moment I made this and Steph you want to just get in close to that now I just printed that off the computer so it's a little cat tab so it's a cat peeking around a corner I've double sided it and in here I've got the double sided tape so it's just on cardstock just to make it a bit firmer and so I'll peel this off and I'm going to stick that on the top here and that's a little tab so you can do the good thing about this double sided tape is that you can put one side on first and then you can put your other side on so we'll just slide that under there and press that on there like that and then turn it over and take this other side off oh if I can get it off and there we go one tab and it looks like a cat peeking around the corner now I have put it on a little crooked but that's okay that gives it personality <laughs> now something else I made was this one now this is has got cat fur on it this is just a um, from the clip art from some clip art that I have on my computer again I double sided it I put lines on it so the cat can do a little bit of journaling write a prayer a bible verse on it and that's going to go on this one here so I've punched a hole and that'll go on there and I'm using some some um, glittery shiny crochet cotton and I'm just going to put that on like a little tag and that way rather than trying to stick this down she can flip it over and write on both sides put that through there oh I'm so clumsy there we go so that keeps that on there and then I'll just cut that now I don't want to trim too much on off because it does unravel so it doesn't matter that this end is messy we just keep it on there like that so then she can flip it over to write on the back and that just makes it more user friendly so you're just limited by your imagination now underneath here Kat can put on um, uh, like some words a sticker like something like that my furry friends or she can write on there do a bit of journaling on there if she likes now as you can see there's no order to anything that I do I'm kind of just all over the place and like I said I don't usually plan things I just go with what I'm feeling at the time um, so I also made that one I just printed that off on the computer I thought that was so cute and then I printed this one off as well and this one says wide load as you can see he's a, um, a very rotund kitty so yeah a bit like our rotund kitty well done <laughs> so what I thought that we could do is put one of them there now you can either glue it on with a glue stick which is a good idea because it's just a piece of paper you don't need to worry about the double sided tape you can cut around this sort of thing with um, your fancy edge scissors but I just like the idea of it being straight and I'm going to put it on this project life card at an angle and I just feel that that gives it a bit of character so there you go that's all stuck on like that now if you wanted to also you could like put a sticker on like that you want to put one of those on probably not that might be a bit much but you can sort of just play around have a look at where you might want to put things now the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm using a doily which has been cut down from this size and I'm going to turn this into a little pocket as well and that is going to go up there so it's just to slide something in so it's not it's not so much to um, you know obviously whatever's in there is it's 
going to pop out. Um, you know, so just a card that she can write on. Because I don't want to, I don't want to cover that up. Because that says remember this day. Or I could put it. Oh, actually, here we go. I could put it on there, couldn't I? See, this is what I do. I sort of just think things out, decide I'm going to put it on there instead. I think that'll look better than up in that top corner. So I'm peeling off. Now this is double-sided tape that I had. That's the size of it. It's very narrow. It's great for something like this. Again, you don't want to be using um, liquid glue because it'll just end up everywhere and it'll end up gluing bits together that you don't want to glue. And also, the size of this glue stick, it's a lot easier to use the double-sided tape than to try and do glue stick. This double-sided tape is really cheap. Um, I think I picked up that, which I've used a fair bit of. I think it was about that big. And it was about $1.50 for that. You can get it in different sizes. This one's wider. And you can get it wider than that still. And again, it's only like $1.50, $2. So I actually keep a lot of that because it is just so much more serviceable than um, glue for fiddly little things like this. Hello, baby. What you doing? You come to help. So I've peeled those off. And again, I rounded the corner. And I'm just going to put that in there, line it up, press it down. And there, you've got a little pocket. <laughs> you helping? Is that for you? Yeah, that's for you. There you go. Oh, now, so we might leave that in there. That's a good place to put that. But I think I might put that on some cardstock just to make it a little bit tougher. But I'll get to that in a minute because I just remembered what I'm going to put in there. And it's this, me being so prepared, I forgot about it. So this is a little envelope, it says purr with a sleeping kitty and on the back I will put a little stamp thing but I didn't want to seal it until I showed you. So in here we have a tiny little card, now these came in these packs, different coloured cards and envelopes and they were only a couple of dollars and inside I have these which are post-it notes, cat post-it notes. I got these from Officeworks and so what I have done is I've put them inside the card so that they're not going to get all messy for cat. she can just use them as she likes and it keeps them all nice and safe and secure and so I put that in there and I'll seal that up with a sticker how about we put a pour on is there a time limit? no why what are we up to? 14. 14? Good grief. <laughs> so we stick that on there like that and then that will go in there. And now we're going to, so I will put that on some cardstock but I can do that later and that will sit in there. Oh, you're helping. And then other things that you can put on here. I don't want to busy this up too much because I want this left for Kat to be able to embellish or journal on herself. So, and also again, because I'm posting this internationally, I don't want it to get too bulky. So we've added a little bit of um, bling to it, a little bit of embellishments. I'll fold that down under there. And it's still laying quite flat. and folding over like that. So I will add a bit more to it, but Brom, when you're watching this, you're just limited by your imagination. You can um, do things as you want to. You can put die cuts on it, stickers. You can do your own little bit of journaling and post that on it as well. Decorate the front or the back. I'll probably put like a handmade with love type of thing on here. And then it all stays nice and flat, will fit into an envelope quite nicely to go over to the US. And so that's how you bling up a flip book. There you go. Thanks, ladies. <laughs> Bye.